أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. So I'm going to ask Brother Lotfi a question about a student who's seeking knowledge, starting off in Islam. What books would you recommend them? Alhamdulillah. Um, for a beginner who wants to seek Islamic knowledge, um, they need to start with Al Wahyayn, the two revelations which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And that's Al Quran al Kareem, Was Sunnah al Nabawiyya al Tahira, and the Prophetic Sunnah. Start by memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Surah Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas. Memorize as much as you can. Go to your local masjid, find an imam, find a qari, learn from him the rules of tajweed, learn from him uh, how to do revision, how to memorize and so on and so forth and start memorizing inshallah ta'ala. Even if you memorize half a page a day or a few verses a day, that's good. Don't give up. Keep doing that, inshallah ta'ala. Once you're done with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then go to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as Allah says, he does not speak from his own desires. He only speaks in huwa illa wahyun yuha. It is only a revelation revealed to him by al-ahad al-samad jalla jalala. So after you memorize the Quran of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you memorize as many hadith as you can. For example, starting with the, uh, the most basic books of hadith, such as uh, uh, the 40 Nawawi hadith, the 40 Qudsi hadith. Um, uh, this is, these are general hadiths. Uh, if you want to go further than that, then you go to Riyadh al-Salihin by Imam Nawawi, Rahimahullah. Uh, uh, and if you want to go further than that into fiqh, go to Bulugh al-Maram or Umdat al-Ahkam, Ulillah al-Hamd. So uh, if you memorize as many hadith as you can from these books, then inshallah ta'ala, this is a brilliant start for your knowledge seeking inshallah ta'ala. Uh, what really um, I find really not appropriate and not befitting for a student of knowledge is you start memorizing the sayings of the scholars and the sayings of the ulama or um, wherever they are and you neglect the sayings of Allah and the sayings of his messenger. I am amazed I see some people standing on the minbar or standing uh, in wherever they do talks or lectures and they quote MashaAllah uh, the, the ulama in, in tens of different numbers of ulama and their statements but hardly ever mentions an ayah from the Qur'an of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. or a hadith from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where is this? Islam is all Qur'an and Sunnah, akhi. The rest of the other opinions or the statements, they're just explanation for the Qur'an and the Sunnah and opinions sometimes. Okay, sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. So if you're not quoting the ayat of Allah and the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa before, uh, uh, before the, the, the scholars uh, and their statements, then no doubt you are up on the wrong path. You need to fix yourself. So start with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu After that, you learn the stories of the Anbiya, the stories of the Sahaba, the stories of al uh, Khulafa al-Rashidin, and then uh, uh, the stories of the righteous Salaf of this Ummah, such as Imam Ahmed, Imam Shafi'i, Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, uh, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, Ibn Qayyim, and many more, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, Imam Nawawi, Suyuti, uh, lots of scholars, okay, the old ones, the ones uh, who have already passed away. And then you come to the scholars of today, Walillah alhamd, you read their books because they are very beneficial and they are very simplified and made knowledge very easy for us. Walillah alhamd, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, have mercy on those who passed away and preserve those who are still alive. Amin ya rabbil alameen. So start with the Quran, start with the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu and then move on to the tafsir of the Quran, the seerah of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, the books of Aqeedah, uh, basic books of fiqh, inshallah ta'ala, and that's how we go gradually, inshallah ta'ala. Sure. And it is, it is always important to learn the Arabic language, inshallah ta'ala. Can I ask you for one 
strong tip for somebody memorizing? What would you say is a really good way of memorizing? Memorizing, you have to, uh, uh, is all about your commitment and how determined you are to finish the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to set a plan, you need to be surrounded by, pe by people who support you to do that, whether your parents or your siblings or your friends or your teachers. Uh, you need some support, okay? You need a sheikh that you need to recite to the Quran so he can correct you, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, it's all about continuing, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't give up, inshallah ta'ala. Even if you are memorizing bit by bit, don't give up. And it is always recommended uh, once you learn a verse or a page or a surah uh, to learn its meaning if you don't speak Arabic. Even if you speak Arabic, really, you need to go back to the tafsir of the ulama to understand it correctly, inshallah ta'ala. So understand the meaning. Uh, it will make, uh, understanding the meaning of the Quran will make it easier for you to, to memorize it, as well as the hadith. Sure. As well as the hadith. And this does not mean if you are memorizing the Quran, you can't memorize the hadith. You can do it at the same time, inshallah ta'ala. But Quran should be number one, inshallah ta'ala. Yeah. Sure, sure. And also, we're talking about um, people that are starting out uh, in terms of learning. Could be a child or an adult. Um, some people say that as you get older, your memory becomes a little bit weaker. Maybe children learn quicker, adults. What, what recommendation could you yeah, give to adults? Yeah. Generally learning? speaking, generally mm -hmm. speaking, when you are, when you are young, your memory is fresh mm -hmm. and it consumes and it preserves knowledge and it, and it saves knowledge, okay? And it stays with you for as long as you revise it, okay? Uh, but if you're an adult, don't ever think it's too late. There are some people who memorize the Quran and the Sunnah of Allah in their 60s, in their 70s, in their 50s, in their 40s, in their 30s. Um, Alhamdulillah, it's never too late when it comes to, when it comes to, to knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad uh, uh, an ayah in Surah Taha and he says zidni ilma. Say my Lord increase me in knowledge This is the only dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, ordered Muhammad وسلم, to do in the Quran directly concerning uh, the dunya Oh my Lord increase me in, in knowledge uh, Knowledge is, is light and ignorance is, is darkness So it's never too late to seek knowledge Sure. You can always do it, as long as you are surrounded by the students of knowledge and good environment, Islamic environment, inshallah ta'ala, you will always be motivated mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, sure. Thank you very much, brother. And may we progress in our knowledge. I mean, so thank you very much, brother. Jazakallah khair. And keep watching our videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.